up, what's up? I'm Misha, and this is Misha C. Tarot. I hope you're doing wonderful. All praises due to the Most High. I truly appreciate every last one of you for joining me. New subscribers, returning subscribers, and y'all that's just stopping by. If you haven't already, go on ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. That way you'll be notified for when I upload new content. God, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. Angels and ancestors of the Most High. With you, light, light, please guide and protect us as we go into the tarot and allow me to channel clear and honest messages from whoever may come across this message. What do they need to know and what do they need to hear? Well, Fluo is um, rest. I'm getting like, don't be afraid of the outcome or the results. You did a very well, you did a job well done. You may be exhausted, you may be beat, you may be tired, your muscles may be sore, your, your body just went through it, your mind, okay? But you did an amazing job. VP, give yourself a round of applause. Sidebar. Clearing on this message of Holy Spirit for the collective, what important message do you have? They're alert. Something to do with the DEA attorney. In my last reading, the last two cards I got were government official and lawyer. Karma. Reflecting. Karma at the bottom of the deck and alert. Okay. You need to pay very close attention. And paying attention ain't never cost you nothing. You ain't got to go in that pocketbook, that wallet, your back pocket, none of that. Something could seem very unusual. That's because it is. You need to pay attention. Give me more for this alert. What does the connector need to know about this alert? from it keeps falling on the ground to so for somebody else or somebody it is over and somebody look at that finally I did it somebody's like I'm not done with this okay back to what I just said when I clicked on this reading about um you did a very great job okay finally I did it so I'm getting like you're gonna receive good news about the good work that you're doing two days is significant you're someone's favorite all right getting in touch with God and spirit be sure to thank God. Don't forget to thank the Most High. But what fell on the floor was for me, it isn't over. It isn't over for somebody. And you had a little stack that came out, but it ain't showing nothing. Give me one more. Because somebody like, I'm, I'm not done. I ain't done yet. I've just begun. Ask me am I finished yet? Bitch, I've just begun. <laughs> Lil Lola. Running man. I don't know no other man. Clear on the sense of this way. Hot and cold. Mm, okay. So somebody is trying to make sense of this hot and cold energy that they're feeling from someone. One minute you want me, one minute you don't. One minute we're speaking, one minute we're not. One minute you're open as a fucking book, and the next minute you're closed off. Is it over? Is this it? First thing in the morning, they think of you. One more Holy Spirit. Somebody could be drinking. Heavy drinking. I didn't say the heavy part, but with this overindulgence coming out, might as well. Spirit said, no, say that shit like how the fuck I gave it to you. Heavy drinking. 
Okay, Spirit. You said you being hard headed. <laughs> Spirit said you being hard headed. No, I'm not. What else are this here? About this alert, what do they need to know? Pay attention. For me, it isn't over. Somebody drinking, drinking, thinking about you. We, I keep saying I'd rather not say. I keep saying it. And I, I feel like it's supposed to be out. What is this? Trust no one. So they don't trust anybody but you. We have here, just for a moment, I started to miss you. Somebody misses someone. So this is cool both ways, okay? So I'm, I'm, I'm okay. There's an energy of someone still um, wanting to be attached to someone. Um, or not knowing if, like, are we, like, what, what the fuck? It's hot and it's cold. And I'm also getting here, just for me, just for a moment, I started to miss you. Something is done. Something is over with. It's over. The cycle has closed. But somebody is missing someone. But they're not going to tell you this, okay? With this, I'd rather not say. What we have here, lack of trust in a person or a relationship at the bottom of the deck. Trust no one. So this person does not trust anyone but you. Or they don't want to trust anyone but you. Or it's very hard for this person to trust people until they came across you or until they met you but they've never trusted anyone like the way that they trust you i feel like somebody is really big on trust like that is a big thing to them for them like trust like if i can't trust you i can't fuck with you i can't be around you i can't deal with you i'm not going to be in my head wondering about whether or not you know you can be trusted or not like once somebody's like once i get a feeling or whatever like they're doing cutoffs like cold turkey they don't give a fuck okay And I also picked up on a, I heard a, I heard a bacon, something about bacon, but um, that was before I, as I was getting ready to do this message, I heard something about bacon. Somebody could like not eat pork. Somebody doesn't eat pork. But somebody has a lack of trust in a relationship or God. And then we have here idolizing a relationship coming out. A prayer and a wish. Overindulgence, overstock. What else? In jail. Somebody could be missing someone that's in jail or locked up. And as this person is locked up, of course, they can't trust nobody in that motherfucker. It's like they're not even telling you the half of the shit that they're fucking going through. They don't want you stressing. They don't want you worried about them. They're going to be okay. They just want you to just take care of yourself. Or I heard take care of the kids. And they pray for y'all. Connection every day. I, I, I can't express this enough. I said, don't forget to thank the Most High. Give the glory. Give it. Because you didn't do this on your own. Or like, you don't wake up on your own every day. What else Holy Spirit about this? For a moment, I started to miss you. And trust no one, I'd rather not say. What else, Holy Spirit? And then we have here, cut off all emotions. So somebody has emotionally disconnected from someone. Or they're learning to emotionally disconnect from someone. Alright, because I feel like they're missing someone. But this person isn't good for them. Or you guys aren't good for each other. And you're learning to cut off emotionally. You're learning to do an emotional cut off, okay? With this learning a new skill and meditation. For some of you guys, you could have just started meditation. And then we have here, once again, I cannot and I will not. Somebody is like, for me, it isn't, isn't over. It's not over. This person is like, it's, I, I'll be damned. Something somebody could like also just randomly give you money or send you money or want to pay something for you. 
with this bank account here and teacher and student. Somebody could also want to pay you for some shit that you know and you could have helped them out with that. Somebody could also be like, hey, you do taxes or something like that. It is tax season. Somebody could be paying you. That money about to hit that account. Ah, <laughs> y'all. That money about to hit. I'm getting told to put this down. Let's get into the tarot. At the bottom of the deck, it says hotel employee, clerk, staff, or manager. That could be significant for somebody. Yeah, if somebody's missing you, they're not going to say it. They don't trust these people that they're around, or they've never trusted anyone the way that they trust you with the information or, um, or how emotionally available they have been. But there's also someone that somebody is blocking out emotionally, okay? Somebody's, like, trying to figure something out because they keep getting all these different mixed signals okay with this alert and hot and cold they're getting a lot of mixed signals somebody is so over it already it's like are what are, are are we are we together are we not together are we dating are we not dating like what's going on are you gonna commit to us or are you gonna commit to yourself What's this alert, Holy Spirit? I feel like this alert is the mixed signals. Clarify alert. I love this card at the bottom of the deck with the star. Let's hear some message on this alert. Clarify alert for the spirit. I'm clearing out some messages for the collective. Yeah, the eight of wands. And then a ten of swords. Okay. So somebody is trying to hurt someone intentionally. So somebody is like on purpose in this hot and cold energy like they're giving and it's like somebody's giving a certain dosage of what they want someone to have a certain dosage of attention and ignoring them a certain dosage of vulnerability and then being closed off it's like Somebody's about to end this shit because they just, they don't have to, they're not going to play these games here because with this cut off all connection, somebody about to get cut off thinking somebody got time for this hot and cold. Yeah. Clarify the eight of wands on this one. Hierophant coming out here with the nine of pentacles. Somebody's going to miss out on a dope ass connection dope ass individual playing around in this hot and cold energy with the nine of pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the seven of wands constantly opening the door and closing the door in this person's face it kind of made me irritated so that's how this person could be feeling okay dealing with this energy it's it's irritating Somebody's like, because you know for me it isn't over the star card. Like, you know I want you. You know I want to be. You know how I feel about you. So why do you keep doing this? The Ace of Wands? The Ace of Swords? That's the truth. Somebody could drink a lot too. And somebody could get drunk and say a whole bunch of stuff or do certain things. And then when they're not drunk no more, they just, they be on some other shit. And I'm getting like two. Say that shit when you're sober. Don't just wait till we in a bedroom or we under the influence for you to say whatever it is that you're saying or do whatever it is that you're doing.
Plus, how the Ace of Swords takes a long time to spirit. The Empress. Come on now, Queen of Cups. And it's like they're trying to, it's like somebody's trying to play this. Yeah, somebody's trying to emotionally manipulate the, an Empress, all right? Somebody could also be doing something to get your attention. Somebody is doing, okay, okay, Spirit, okay. Okay. What it all boils down to, they want to know, do you care? How much do you care? The Ace of Pentacles showing itself, the Two of Cups behind the um, Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. They're literally checking your temperature. Checking it. Testing you. See if you care. How much do you care? They want a reaction out of you. But each is his own, but I'm going to get in here for somebody like this. This is the wrong way to go about this with this empress here. She's not going to play your game. You're going to mess around and play yourself. This empress wants to give to you, and if you really want to give to this empress, then just do that. Quit fighting the way you feel for somebody. Stop. <laughs> As I spit the deck, you gonna fuck around and play yourself. I just feel like somebody's... This is not going to end well, playing this game, this mind game. Okay, with every ace in the deck coming out here, if you want this opportunity, this offer, this clarity, this love, all right? Just look at that. The king and queen of wands. Come on, spirit. Act like the fuck you know. Act like you know. The lover's card, queen, act like you know. Page of Cups falling out. Because the way you moving, baby, keep it moving, baby. <laughs> what else, Holy Spirit? Like, somebody's like, come on. What, 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 what is your problem? Somebody, can you get it together, please? <laughs> Anything else? Six of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? Clarify the Six of Pentacles. The Six of Swords with the Chariot. Can we get on board? Somebody wants somebody to get on board. Get with the program. What is this I'd rather not say? Because somebody won't admit it, but they miss you. Or they're starting to miss you. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody misses the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. They miss that sex, too. Mm -hmm. Are you just sexy as fuck? They miss laying their eyes on you. Knight of Wands, Ten of Swords, King of Swords, the Emperor. Somebody, oh, oh, that was mean. I don't know. There's, they want me to apologize to you. Somebody wants me to apologize to you. They know they hurt you. That was very mean, the way they spoke to you and the way they treated you. They know that that was some mean ass shit to say or to do. Ten of Swords, King of Swords, the Emperor. Why would you want to hurt this Queen of Pentacles? Why does this person want to hurt this Queen of Pentacles? Or why did this person hurt this Queen of Pentacles? Because they, it's like they wanted to. Yeah, the two of wands here with the two of swords, but they didn't know how much of an effect it would have on this queen of pentacles. Or how much it would affect this connection. It's, it's back to this person. This is giving me like a gaslighting. I don't know what this person is. This is all about this person trying to see how much you love them and care for them. And can they trust you? But the way they're going about it is chaotic to me. Something to do with crystal or crystals 
Or that could be somebody's name. Love Father Queen of Pentacles, Holy Spirit. We have here the Five of Wands. Whatever they said, I'm telling you, like, motherfuckers had words. Words. Okay? Somebody had a few choice words for somebody. Okay? With the World Card. This could have brought an ending. Okay? I feel like the last time these people interacted with each other was heated, heated words. Some hurtful things were said. And I was picking up on that pound town. Go check that message out too if you would like to. With this not a wand here, like somebody wanted to do like makeup sex or punish you. Okay, but they wanted to punish you in the bedroom. I'm picking up on that message too as well. But with this page of wands here, that communication, they knew that shit hurt it. But that was the whole point, okay? And with this three of pentacles here, somebody could have been jealous of someone else that was around you or that you were working with, collaborating with, dating or seeing. You could have moved on or you're in a completely whole new relationship. And you could have been giving to someone else. Somebody thought you were giving to someone else. And they still miss you. For them, it isn't over. They haven't moved on. The Knight of Pentacles. The Ace of Cups. Once again... Clarify, trust no one. They don't trust nobody but you. What is this in reverse? Yeah, the four swords. And at the beginning of this message, we got the, the, the word rest, the card rest, with the devil card at the bottom of the deck. Mm, mm, mm. Put the bottle down. With this overindulgence here, and then that heavy drinking, the four swords in reverse, the, the devil card here, the eight of pentacles. Stop. Don't drink and drive. Don't drink and drive. Slow down on the drinking. I don't know what this is, because baby, that bottle ain't helping it. I feel like this is a personal message. Somebody can't get no rest. They can't sleep. Or they supposed to be sleep, but they up thinking or they up drinking. And as they're thinking or as they're drinking, they're realizing how they treated their empress, their person. How they were sending out all these mixed signals, being hot and cold overindulging in other things not telling this empress how they truly feel but as they're sitting there thinking about all this they're realizing like I did all this to my empress lied to my empress hurt my empress treated my empress this way and when it all boils down to it this empress is the only one that I can trust Somebody could have thanked God for you. Somebody felt like you truly are heaven sent. I'm, I'm hearing um, he, uh, Big Lotto. Um, Big Lotto. I mean, um, yeah, Lotto and Gucci. All right. <laughs> I had to go find the verse because I just kept hearing, um, I just kept hearing the, um, I look good, good, bitch, I'm fine, fine, make them give them brain, make them give me Einstein, all right, but, um, I had to get the whole, I had to get down to the verse that I was hearing, and, uh, what I was getting was, um, this nigga dumb if he lose me, this boy think I love him, bitch, I'm Big Lotto, not Susie, yeah, Mm -hmm, yeah, I'm, yeah, I look good, good. Bitch, I'm fine, fine. Make them give me brain. Make them give me eyes, sign. I walked in the meeting label, seen a dollar sign. Some. I walked in the meeting label, seen a dollar sign. Took a couple of M's for me to sign a dollar line. There we go. Slim waist with a buoy. This nigga dumb if he lose me. So somebody's like dumb if they lose this person. Like, come on now. 
trying to act like you're not in love. This boy think I love him, bitch, I'm the glado, not Susie. But somebody's trying to play like they're not in love. They, they don't want to say it. They don't want to admit it or like, I don't, even, I don't even fucking know. Like, they're trying to see if somebody love them back or love them as much as they do. I really hope this helped. I'm sending you the utmost love and respect, peace, healing, joy, prosperity, abundance, love, and hell of that shit. Somebody is playing a dangerous game, okay? But um, take only what resonates. I love you. Peace.